So, so many clients ask me, David, is a private health insurance worth doing for me? And of course, only you can answer this question, but to give you help, we will look at the financial side of doing a private health insurance in Germany today. We're going to be calculating an example of a single person who makes 70,000 euros a year and how much they pay in the um, public system, how much they pay in the private system, what's the difference and what are the options here. So we're going to be looking at the financial side of this concrete example. I have brought today my colleague Marcel. He Hi. does all the consulting for um, private health insurance at our company. Um, yeah, and I will give uh, the word to you. <laughs> so, yeah, we already talked about uh, in our very long podcast about the both systems. And uh, as you mentioned, today we are looking at the numbers. Um, but before we are talking about the price in the um, private health insurance, um, we talk about the price in the government insurance. And as we um, talked about in our podcast, it's already more than a thousand euros in total. Um, so as you can see here, if your salary is 70K a year, even if it's higher, but if it's at least those 58,000 something, then you are at the maximum of your um, health insurance uh, contribution. And for example, if you have a salary of 70,000, as you can see here, you pay only for your health insurance 404 euros plus for the long term care. Um, so uh, more than 500 euros per month and your employer also at the same amount on top of it. So we have more than 1000 euros a month in contribution for the government health system. Um, yeah, it's much. And for those who are a little bit familiar with German, even though this, uh, even though this calculator says you can save uh, money if you change <laughs> your your health uh, insurance. So yeah, keep in mind those 500 euros and we will calculate later how much you really save then. So it's a, it's a thousand in total, yes. right? A thousand in total that you and your employer hey, pay half to half. Yeah. Yes. So, um, and by the way, this is the same amount for everything above 67,000. So the, the cost of the health insurance is the same because there's the cap, yes. right? So it, it doesn't matter if you make 200,000, 100,000 or 70,000, the cost for the health insurance is uh, this amount that we're discussing. Yes. A thousand euros approximately in the government system. So today we are t looking for an example. So we take a young adult with 30, 30 years. years he's employed then just a few numbers then we already talked in the podcast about um, the topic if you are uh, ill more than six weeks the employer will pay you but if you are in the private health insurance you have to have this option and as i mentioned it's absolutely recommended and i would never leave it out so yeah um we are just looking now at um, different different um, insurance companies. It every insurance company has its benefits and its um, disadvantages. But at the end, just for calculation, we we just looking at a, a cheap one, and then we are looking at a good one, and then we can calculate how much you do you save uh, month on a monthly basis. As you can see here, it's as it's loading. The cheapest one is 306 euros 45 in total so not 1000 in total 306 45 and it's already way above the government insurance so um, it's not that it's bad or something like this but you have to keep in mind like you can see here it's 1000 euros deductible a year so you have to pay the first 1000 a year by yourself so if you add this to the total contribution per month, just divide this number by 12 and you have your payment per month with the deductible. So around 80 euros a month on top of it. So all, almost 400 euros a month and it's the cheapest one for a 30 year old and you are faster and get faster and better treatment. So if you we calculate this with the deductible, because of course you have to pay it, yeah, um, then we will change it to the private insurance. Um, and we take this number, 
386 with the deductible. So what, what was the net be before? Uh, before The net before was 3450 something. Okay. And now it's 3683 something. So it's, as you can see here, you now pay 139 euro, uh, 139 um, euros and not, fi uh, 93 and yeah. not 500 something. <laughs> so you save approximately 300 and something euros a month. Okay, and how much net is that? Also, how, how, uh, net how is it? It was 3,450 uh, something. So okay, so almost 200 euros. Almost 200 euros. Okay. So per month. 180 euros, yeah. approximately. 190, per 180. Per month. So, so, so you save, save only it. for the private health insurance 190 euros a month. If you, we can just add the numbers, then we can say it on perfect cent um so and this would this was of course the cheapest one and yeah. with deductible yeah um so it's three six three eight it's 180 180 euros, euros. That net you, the net. net that you can put aside yes so, so over the next 30 years you can save that up and if you calculate this because you, you are not dumb and of just course you need to invest the money that you're in, saving right <laughs> and invest the money for the next 37 years because you are 30 and you go to the retirement age at 67 so when you have the whole private health insurance your whole working life you will have saved up only from the savings from the private health insurance almost you will have 300k wow almost 300,000 euros with a conservative yes. Uh, yes. calculation so and now, of course, it's the cheapest one. We are just looking at a bit better uh, treatment, even though it's better than the government one, but we, we have a look at better treatment. And maybe we just reduce the deductible so it's easier for you to compare. And then um, we do chef, doc, head of doctors and almost the best treatment you can have there. Um, the only thing, maybe we now we are uh, doing the best of Let's the best. Let's do the best of the best. So, so you have here zero deductible, everything is covered, the best of the best, um, and you see it's <laughs> it's almost <laughs> a half, even though we have the best of the best. And now we can see, even though you, you took the best whatever you can for your age. Um, just let me edit. So here you can see you, even though you have the best treatment now and zero deductible and you get uh, cash back every year, we, we talk about it uh, in a second. And even then you save 50 euros a month. Wow. Even then. So if you, we make the same comparison, even if you, so you save almost 80,000 a year uh, uh, in, in your working life until retirement age and but that's when you get the best of, of the, the best, best of the best treatments yes, so, yes. yeah <laughs> so yeah almost no clients have to take the best of the best because it often it's not necessary to yeah. take all of the options then there's available yeah. so yeah. yeah um i mean even the cheap one that we the yes. cheap one that we calculate is way, way better than the public, public insurance yes. <laughs> yeah it's crazy so yeah. So, so and then, then on top of this, this on top of the one, somewhere from 50 to 200 euros that you save per month, that you just get more net, you get when you don't use the insurance, you get a reimbursement. Can you explain that? Yes. Um, maybe we can just look it up here. Um, so that's for the best one now. Yes. So as you can see here, maybe uh, some of you are German, uh, familiar in German, but as you can see here, you get 2.5 of the monthly premium back if you don't get any treatment in a year. So for example, if you are, um, we are looking into 2023, you are starting in the private health insurance and the whole year 2023, you didn't get any treatment um, or you get treatment, but you paid it by yourself. So when you go to the tooth doctor, cost by 100 euros, example, you pay it for yourself, right? Or you have a flu, go to the doctor, you pay the 50 euros for yourself. Then in the next year, in the year that 
after that, so in 2024, you will get up to 2.5 your um, monthly premium back. So in, in this case, um, it's like if you uh, add this to 655 times 2.5, it's 1,600 euro something. And if you deduct this from your monthly premium, you already saved another 100 euros a month. So yeah, yeah more, more, even more, even more. So yeah, it's crazy. So yeah. even if you get the best from the best and you are not ill, you saving money on tons of money uh, over the years. And yeah, that's crazy. Um, and I don't know if, <laughs> if someone says, no, it will be, it will be too expensive if you go to retirement age, etc. It's, it's so just calculate what we what we have even in the best treatment when we have in retirement age when we get the 1600. So but every year you get 1600 euros back when you don't or use a, a minority of the um, of the insurance. So yeah, do the math for yourself. Uh, we can do the math here. Okay, we can just uh, add 160 divided by 12 at 133rd so and now so it comes down to the same same as before yes. euros, it's right? crazy yeah so you will have in either way and for the cheap one was there a reimbursement yes but it's um fixed on 500 euros per okay. year okay. and it's um in the first year it's only 200 euros then it's 300 okay. 400 and in the so last let's five. don't calculate there with the reimbursement but either way, you will have about 300,000 euros saved up yes. right? when you retire only from doing the private health insurance. And of course, we know the uh, you have to be healthy to get in. Right? <laughs> you have to make above uh, 67K a year to get in, of course. But when that is the case, then it can be very, very profitable. Of course, everyone is individual. So um, you have an individual situation also maybe with your family. When you have a family, watch this video where we do a calculation. Um, but see for yourself, I have put a link for the Calendly from Marcel in the description where you can get calculated your individual scenario. You will see exactly, okay, what is my net now? What if I apply the private health insurance? What will my net be then, right? And when you make above these numbers, you will save a lot of money. But Yes. You can decide for yourself after the consultation, see all the options and yeah. There are many more options that we, um, than we show because it should only be a short video <laughs> about the calculation. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. so if you found our video helpful, please leave a thumbs up, leave a comment if you have any questions and book yourself a consultation with Marcel to see whether that makes sense for you or not. Especially all you experts, he can also speak English. He has many. Uh, <laughs> he, he has he has all of my English speaking clients. Um, he does the consultations about health insurance with them, and the feedback is just great. Uh, I've only heard very good things, and um, yeah, that's it. See you on the next one, and we are out. Bye bye.